We are great now that you are in our presence. Oh, thank you. That's nice. <laughs> so, tell us about your character. Um, well, she is, um, she's a girl who kind of starts out looking for an adventure. She's been a her whole life. And, um, gets more than she bargains for. Uh, and is set out on a mission to get her brother back and keep her safe. Um, yeah, and that's pretty much her drive right now, you know, as we live out her, her dad's wish and, and keep her brother and, and, and yeah, keep him, find him, and, and, uh, and get him back. Is it fun doing the action scenes and running around more so than just being in a drama talking? Oh, you know what? You know what? They 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 all have their. I, I do like you know dipping into that stuff for sure. Adventure stuff is always cool, though. You know, I mean, I I love. I grew up, I grew up watching Star Wars. I've been in boys my whole life. I've been in Star Wars and stuff. So for me, the adventure and the action stuff was definitely very exciting. I loved it. Yeah. Your character seems more interested in the old world. You know, she pulls out the lunchbox and she has all the, uh, the postcards and the Rubik's Cube and the iPod. Uh, she seems more... Just, is, does she want to go back to that world? Because you were kind of grown up in a world without her. Yeah, you know, she doesn't actually want to um, go back to that world she doesn't know that world. Um, this stuff in the box is stuff that she's accumulated through, throughout her years and it just everything reminds her of certain things her mother and her were very close, and so you know the, the, the postcards. I mean, the way that I see it, uh, the postcards are um, something that her mother would go over with her and explain to her what it was like. You know, when she's old enough to understand it, and what it was like back then, how poor, and looking at the postcards and envisioning that world, as it, it brings her closer to her mother. Being, you know, going through all that stuff, and it's just, it's just memorable. Yeah, so, you know, when you look at stuff from from your youth, you don't necessarily always want to go back to that, but it brings up certain things for you when you go back to it. And then he says, okay, Eric, so let's keep talking about this casting. And then I, I, I No, we, we are led to believe that, I guess, Charlie's father knew why he was so And now that he did, and you know the ability of that dude to whether you actually know what happened or how to reverse it, or is that something that your character knows nothing about? Um, well, to the best of my knowledge, because I don't know very much, um, <laughs> uh, no, she doesn't know anything about it. Because no, no. yeah, I, I mean, I would imagine if she did, then maybe not. Because I mean, it would be But I don't think. I mean, to my to my knowledge, she doesn't have any bad. What's it like to have three of the best sci-fi guys at the helm of the whole project? Oh, pretty much the best. Um, they're, they're all so cool, you know, and uh, I'm so lucky to be able to be around all of them. I'm learning so much from them every day. Um, Eric's pretty much the coolest guy ever. Uh, Favreau's, like, a huge actor's dream, too, and JJ, I've idolized, you know, all of his work for so long. Um, so it's just, it's just like a dream, dream, dream team. Is that added pressure? Or intimidating at all? You know what? Maybe if they were like people, it could be, but they're just they're so supportive of everything that we do from, from the beginning. I mean, I did my first audition with Eric, one of the other casting directors, and Eric is so sweet um, and, and so supportive of, of, of you know, what you're doing and, and encouraging and stuff like that. It was, it was like I was hanging out with friends, you know? I almost gave John Favreau a hug on my second audition. I was like, you don't know him, don't do that. Step away. <laughs> but it just makes you feel so welcome. Yeah. 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 I was like, I know you. No, I don't. Um, so yeah, it's great. It's really cool. You sat down and got that. And Elizabeth is going to be Yeah. Is she going to be your mom or is she replacing somebody? Yes, I don't know what I'm allowed to say. Okay. Um, but I think, I think that's out there. I think that's Andrea Rowe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. she's, is it? Okay. She's, she's my, she's my mom. And uh, I just met her she, right before we came out. She's really sweet. Very, very sweet. Yeah. I'm excited. I'm excited to work with her. Well, actually, I don't know that I'll be. Yeah. <laughs> She'll only be in flashbacks for the most part, right? Yeah, and I'll be Unless like. Unless she's five. alive somehow. So that won't work. Uh, but so, you know, work around her. Yeah. Uh, great. Do you think we will get flashbacks to learn more about the. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. I, 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 I mean, like I said, I don't really know a whole lot that's going on. I just read um, the second episode. Um, so, but I don't, I don't know a whole lot about how it's going to develop. But I think flashbacks is a tool that we can 
very Can you make one quick favor real fast? Yeah. Could you give a shout out to revolution show.com? I'm going to post it on the website. Oh, sure. Revolution show. And just revolution show. Yeah. Just like a. Uh, like, hey, I'm Tracy. Hey, I'm Tracy Mathis. I play Jordan Matheson. And um, shout out to revolution.show. Dash show. Revolution dash show dot com. We edit this. Yeah. Well, <laughs> <laughs> uh, Revolution dash show. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Hey, I'm do we do it again? Or you just sure, if you want. Yeah. Uh, hey, I'm Tracy Dracus. I play Charlie Matheson on Revolution. Shout out to Revolution. Thank you. 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 Thank you.